Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. This video, I'll be doing a teardown on a Lenovo laptop and I'll walk you through step by step on how to do that. In this teardown process, you get to see on how to upgrade your RAM, hard drive, maybe change the battery or the motherboard, things like that. So I'll walk you through step by step and I'll explain to you in the process that I'll be showing it to you. All right, so let's turn the laptop to the back. And if you take a closer look here, you can see that the model that says Y, Lenovo Y520-15IKBM. So first we need to remove the back cover. Let's go ahead and open up the um, the screw. They're just a fillet. You can just remove it. All right, so once you remove all the screws, the next step you would like to do is to pry open the back cover. I usually like to go to the corner here. That's where the weakest point is. And then what you do is you go ahead and pry it open. Stick it underneath it. And I have the plastic. All right. I apologize. I missed out the two screws. There are two screws on the very top. I wasn't able to see it earlier. So I just wanted to point that out to you. The two screws were the very top here. First, I remove the two right in the center and there are two more screws on both sides. And also two more screws right there. I apologize because the angle of the camera that is shooting down, you may able to see it, but on my angle where I'm sitting, I, I have some difficulties to look at it. Okay, I'll repeat myself again. So there are four screws on the very top, this one two three and four on the very top and the two screws right in the center here and the rest of it is at the bottom where i showed it to you earlier so once you remove all the screws you can pop open the back cover now once the back cover is removed you can actually see that the cpu fan is very dirty and it's full of dust you want to take this opportunity to kind of clean it out a can duster to spray all the dust out and whatnot. Here is your M.2 drive. This is where the um, all your information is stored, like your data, your programs, the windows are all stored in this M.2 drive. To remove the M.2, just pop open this, uh, remove the one screw and slide the connector down towards your body. Now this is the, uh, I think it's 256 gigabyte M.2 drive. And if this is too small, you can upgrade it to 512 or one terabyte or even larger. Now the RAM is actually in the, um, underneath this cover, this cover here, you can just pop straight up. It doesn't have screw on it. And then to remove the RAM, you just want to push the bolt clipper uh, away from each other. Just push it away from each other. That's how you pop open the memory. So this RAM here is 8 gigabyte. It says PC4. That means it's a DDR4 RAM. So it's 8 and 8. So this laptop runs on a 16 gigabytes RAM. You can upgrade it to 32. I'll link them in the description below. Check it out. It will direct you to Amazon. 
or to eBay where you can buy the parts replacement or the upgrade on your hard drive or the RAM, things like that, even the battery. All right, so this is your battery. And to remove the battery, you actually need to remove the screw. So the connector, you just want to slide it down and that's how you remove it. And if you have the swollen battery, if your battery is swollen or lumped or the battery is not holding the charge and it's time for you to replace the battery. Now to look for the model on the battery is L16M3P24. All right, let's put the battery on the side here. This here is your Wi-Fi. The gray cable is at the bottom and the black cable is on the top. To remove it, you simply just lift it straight up. That's how you remove the Wi-Fi. And let's see. What else can I explain? It's quite dirty. It's, it's good to clean it up at this point. Now this is your CMOS battery. The CMOS battery holds on to uh, to keep track on the time and date. If you want to reset reset the motherboard, I just remove the CMOS battery. All right. So the next step here I like to do is to remove the uh, DC jack connector. So you just want to slide the connector away from your body. So slide it to that direction. This is the CPU fan connector. Just lift it straight up. Here is your speaker. Remove the connector by lifting it straight up. So if a DC jack is broken, and this is how you remove or replace the DC jack, you just pretty much, there's no cable or whatsoever. Uh, I mean, there's no screw or anything that, that, that holds onto the cable. It just pretty much, it runs along the CPU fan, and then it connects to the motherboard. Now this is the, uh, uh, the DC jack for your charging port. And uh, to remove it, I need to actually remove the hinge and also the I.O. board here. So I'll leave that on the side, just in case. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just remove the two screws here and remove the uh, this, this metal bracket with the two screws here and you'll be changing out the DC jack. All right, so let's move on to the next part. i will like to do is to show you the speaker. The speaker here just pop right out. There's no screw or anything that holds onto it. It kind of just snap on top of this here. Let's move it on the side. This one is the other side of the speaker. Same thing, there's no screw or anything that holds onto the speaker. If you want to do a speaker replacement, uh, just pretty much like that. However, you do need to remove the heatsink because this cable here is tucked underneath the heatsink and come out on the other side. All right, so the next step, I like to remove the uh, the uh, CPU fan and the heatsink. At least I get to show it to you what is behind here, underneath here.
All right, as you can see, the heatsink just came off. There are seven screws. The screw does not come off. They just stuck with the heatsink. Uh, when you unscrew it, it will just stop at that point and you can just remove it. Now, this is a good chance for you to come and clean out the, uh, the heatsink, the dust. Uh, go outside, you know, don't do it indoor, go outside and then get the Aiken duster and just blow it off and wash it. Uh, I mean, just blow it off and clean it, not to use any water to wash it, okay? I'm just going to put it on the side here. Now, here is the uh, the speaker I was referring to and you just remove it and there goes the entire speaker. You can replace... Um, crackling noise speaker and uh, this is how you're going to do that all right i'm just going to put that on the side for now because i want to get to the uh, cpu fan here it's one screw So there are four screws to remove the CPU fan. And again, this is a good time to clean out the fan. As you can see, it's really bad. Let's look at the dust. All right. So always check and clean your CPU fan so you get a better ventilation. You want the hot air. <laughs> To disperse and you want the fan to bring in the cool air so always make sure to check your temperature on the computer and come back and clean out your cpu fan i'm going to do a better cleaning but in this video i'm just going to show it to you uh, how to remove and replace the cpu fan now here comes the next step here i like to show it to you is how to remove the motherboard Pretty much um, what you want to do is to disconnect the LCD cable right here. And this is your keyboard connector. Disconnect that as well. Touch pad. And this is the um, backlighting. I think I accidentally put it too hard and I broke it. So what it is, is this white little clipper, is you slide it down, you stop, the clipper does not come off, you slide it down, the clipper stops, and then you just pull that flex cable, this brown little cable out. This is your keyboard lighting, but I think it's too old that this clipper just came off by itself together with the, um, the flex cable. So it should be just like this. It should be just stopped like this. And then the flex cable will slide out. All right, so we have it so far. And um, pretty much now the next step is to remove the screw and we can get to the motherboard. So there are four screws total to get to the motherboard and you want to slide it to your right. Oops. Slide it to your right and disconnect this cable. And this is how the entire motherboard is removed. If you want to replace the motherboard, go ahead and look out for the model number here. It says DY520NM-B391. Version 1.0. This is a 2017 model. The year that was made in april 14. all right so if your cpu and a graphics card get too hot what you want to do is you want to get the uh, alcohol wipes here so get the alcohol wipes wipe it down clean the cpu and the gpu and go ahead and apply the thermal paste or the thermal compound apply it and you would have a better cooling system and you conduct the heat much better. 
All right, so let's move on to the next step. Speaking about the keyboard, the keyboard is not replaceable. Uh, the keyboard is all built in together with the computer. So the best way for you to, um, uh, if you have a broken keyboard, the best way for you to do is to replace the entire palm rest. And to do that, uh, technically you would have to remove the hinge on, on, on both of this, this black bar and the hinge and you slide the entire keyboard out. Like again, like I said, the keyboard is not a separate part. You, you have to replace the entire palm rest, meaning that this cover right here, the palm rest with the keyboard, um, you will just have to replace all entirely. So it's quite unfortunate. That's how the design is. So other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, there's no further teardown for me to do. And besides, there's a few screw here and with the uh, um, the DC jack connector. Um, but yeah, so if you have any question, comment below. I, I hope this, this video helps. And um, if you find this video is helpful, please go ahead and give me a like. I, I re really appreciate that. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And thanks for watching. Until next time, I hope you learn something every day. Thank you now. Bye.